Tuesday, April 9th. Taco Tuesday on Prize Picks. It's a great bankroll builder day. We got Luka Doncic, PRA 51.5, discounted down to 45.5. Last week we did have one taco that sold. Uh, so hopefully all three of them cash for us. Uh, the Eclipse taco that they had yesterday, they all cashed as well. Uh, so it's a good sign uh, compared to those discounts they gave on Thursday with the Atlanta discounts, which they all chalked, uh, including the one they gave over the weekend. Uh, so hopefully we go three for three today. Uh, I'll be pairing it Luka Doncic with my favorite goblin and one of the highest paid goblins out there. And that includes NHL and MLB. And I'm going to be taking Chris Stapp's Porzingis and I'm going to be taking his rebounds at 5.5. He's projected to go over his original line at 7. My favorite prop for him personally, which I'll be taking, will be his rebounds and assists. He can get this on rebounds alone. Uh, so you might want to look into that as your first leg for your 5-man or whatever uh, slip you're doing. Uh, but this is my pair for the first taco, Chris Stapp's and Luca. 25 pays out a 62.50. And that is my first taco. Let's head on over to the five man. Actually, I built a six man last night. I got some great value. Here's the slip I built last night. Uh, usually I do not do six mans, uh, only on Fridays for Flex Friday. Uh, but with this one, I made an exception. We do have a full slate today of NBA. We got 13 games plus the, another 14, 15 games from MLB today. Uh, so we have a lot going on today. Uh, obviously, for me, I'm still going to focus and stay disciplined to the tacos for the bankroll builder uh, and stay uh, between my limits. Uh, I also want to mention uh, KBO. Uh, KBO has been back the past two weeks, uh, but yesterday was the first video I posted. Uh, we went three for five, uh, still gather gathering data and seeing where these players are at for KBO. KBO is a much tougher sport than MLB as far as gathering data. Uh, but let's get started on this five man that I like and most of them are included on that six man Obviously, I'll be taking Clint Capella's rebounds. It did get bumped from my original uh, Slip that I posted last night at 10.5. I still like it at 11, but with this you have the push equity uh, So you might want to look into his points and rebounds uh, Which is at 22.5 So that is one prop you may want to look into or you can just take the bump and go with his rebounds at 11. Next up, I'll be taking is PJ Washington. And for him, there's multiple props to take. I obviously took his PRA. His fantasy score wasn't up, but as you can see, his PRA is bumped to 21.5 now. Uh, we can still take it. I still like it. You can take that over. Uh, his fantasy score is also good at 29. Second leg, I'll be taking... Obviously, I took AO Desumbo. You can get his original line at 2.5 rebounds. I haven't projected to get four in this one. Uh, you can see his past five has gone over. His past 10 has gone over nine of 10 when his rebounds is at three or more. Uh, so this is some excellent value right here. I expect this to get bumped to three. Third leg I'll be taking will be Kobe White. And this prop might be bumped. I did get it at 7.5. It's at eight. You do have that push equity. Um, but like I mentioned, I got some good value last night. Big reason why I did the six man. Four flag, one of my favorite props of the day will be Missix. Uh, he's become a big playmaker for Charlotte, uh, especially in the assist department. Uh, right here, he got some push equity. I still think he's gonna go over seven. Uh, he might get, I have him projected to get eight against the Mavericks. Uh, so this is a good, li good line to take. I took his rebounds and assists and it stood at his original line. At 9.5, uh, this is probably my play of the day, or at least one of my play of the days. He can get this on assist alone, and then the secondary option, third, it will be fantasy score or points and assists. I think points and assists is a favorite play or popular play, uh, but I like his rebounds and assist. And then my final one, obviously, I think another one of my favorites is Porzingis. So I wouldn't mind Porzingis and Mystics on a two-man if you're going on a two-man power uh, but for Chris Stapps his points did get bumped it was at 16.5 last night I still like it PRA as well obviously his rebounds are real high on his rebounds so his original line at seven is good fantasy and points or assists my favorite is rebounds and assists 
he can get that on rebounds alone, as I mentioned on that taco pair. Uh, but as you can see, his past five gone for over five, and he's been averaging 13.2. His past 10, he has gone over 9 of 10, and he's been averaging 11.8. Uh, so this is an excellent prop here. I expect this to get bumped to 9. Uh, but that rounds up my top 5. A little similar to the uh, to the slip I posted last night. Build a 5 man. First one I'll be taking is Aaron Savali. And there's two props I like for him. Uh, I'll be taking his pitcher fantasy score. I believe he's going to get the win against the Angels. I think the Rays are going to bounce back from yesterday. Uh, but I'm going to be taking his fantasy score at 27.5. I also took his pitching outs on another slip to go over. Uh, I expect him to get a quality start, go six innings. Uh, but I think he's going to get the W, have a quality start, and have about five, six strikeouts, which should easily cash his fantasy score. Next up, I'll be taking, we'll be taking uh, Carlos Rondon. And I'm going to be taking less on his strikeouts. Unfortunately, it just, just got bumped right now. It was at 6.5. Uh, I took the under on a 6.5. At 6, we got the push equity. Uh, I'll still take the under. Uh, going against Miami. Miami is pesty. Uh, they don't really strike out as much. Uh, but Carlos Rondon still hasn't been that pitcher he was with the Giants where he did get. He was averaging about 7, 8 strikeouts a game. Uh, he's still trying to find his footing at the Yankees his second season. Uh, but I still, I'm going to take the under on him. On his strikeouts uh, but I was able to get it at 6.5 so just keep in mind that third one I'll be taking is Varlin with Varlin and I'm this is a tough matchup for him against going against the Dodgers uh, I have his pitcher strikeouts which also did get bumped down as well uh, it was at six I took the under he needed seven to beat us right here he needs six uh, so it's a possibility, but he hasn't gone over six in the season. And then you're going against a high potent offense against the Dodgers. I don't think he'll last that long. I think the Dodgers will knock him out in five innings or less. Uh, I'll stake the under on that. Or you can also look into his hits allowed. So you can see they don't have his original line hits allowed. Uh, they have his demon at 5.5. So they do expect him. He's not going to last long against the Dodgers. Uh, so I'll take the under on his strikeouts. Next up will be two hitter uh, fantasy scores. And first one, we're gonna go take the Red Hot Otani. He's been catching for us the past three days. He's taking the more. As you can see his past five gone over all five. After it loads, price pick is taking forever this morning to load. Uh, but his past five, he's gone over. Uh, his past 10, he has gone over a 90% clip rate. Be taking Otani over fantasy score and next hot player is Juan Soto and I'll be taking his fantasy score at eight going against Miami uh, they do have AJ Puck today he does allow a lot of walks Juan Soto that is his specialty uh, he had his uh, first home run as a Yankee at Yankee Stadium as well so I have Juan Soto having a big game against Miami Day. So let's rounds out my top five for MLB. Hopefully we bounce back from MLB. We went two of five yesterday. Tyro Estrada didn't come through with that strikeout. So mix and match, pick your favorite. We got a lot of games going on, a lot of sports. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Appreciate the support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.